All right, Rachel, let me, let me turn to you for a second. How common is this that, that a, a, a woman of her age, 23-year-old, would begin a relationship with a 14-year-old student? And, and do you equate this to a male pedophile? Is it the same situation? Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, it's more common than one might think. About one out of six to eight boys is sexually abused in some way before the age of 18. So it's actually quite common. And in this situation, even though it was a female with a male, it's still abusive behavior. Um, if, in fact, this is something that we know to be true, um, that uh, an offender is still an offender, whether they're male or female, if they're taking advantage of a child. So, so in other words, and, and we all know this is true, let's be honest about it, oftentimes you hear jokes about something like this, mostly from men, mm -hmm. and they'll say, gosh, I wish this had been my teacher when I was a kid. You don't think we should be taking this lightly at all? No, absolutely not. In a case like this, there's a question about whether a child has been exposed and manipulated into sexual activity without really understanding all the ramifications that go with that and all that goes with sexual activity by an adult who's manipulating the situation. And really, this adult would be in this for power and control, not for sex, um, not for anything. Um, other than just power and control. So other than the fact that this student is now going to find himself at the center of, of some sort of r rather tabloid court case, what might the mm -hmm. lasting effects be on this student? Well, the effects could be that he is confused um, about what's happened, why did this person choose him, um, why did this happen to him, why um, do other people think that it's okay? In fact, for right now, he might think it's okay, but later on, these are some questions that might come into his mind. And he may become withdrawn, uh, depressed, anxious. Um, he may have a lot of questions about just who he is and how he feels So in other words, you're saying down the road, they tend not, the, the, the victims of this tend not to have a positive reaction to it. They feel victimized by it. Yes, yeah, and sometimes the impact can be delayed. So this child might not understand at this time what's going on, but um, later on might feel the impact of it. And for the, in terms of the teacher, is there any kind of way mm -hmm. to generalize as to why someone like this would, would get into a situation like this? Is it, is it the, the forbidden fruit element? Is it the thrill of it? Uh, that can be a part of it. Usually offenders are lacking uh, power in some part of their life or in one or more aspects of their life. It may be at work, it may be within their family, um, within themselves. They may have been a victim at some point and their way to regain power is to take advantage of someone else. Kind of like a bully who doesn't feel good about themselves uh, decides to make other people feel bad about themselves. Rachel Haskell and Michelle Sager. Ladies, thanks very much to both of you. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. And still to come, Scott Peterson's defense team grills a detective. Playing outdoors. So does my daughter.